If you own a Ledger Nano S or X and you have tokens that are on the Binance Smart Chain, then this video is for you. Welcome to Crypto Corner. Ledger just announced that Binance Smart Chain is now available on Ledger Live. So we are going to look into how to get that onto our system and actually interact with some coins and put them on our ledger today. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up our Ledger Live app. So we want to log in here. And if it's been a few days since you've opened your Ledger, you will probably see an update firmware, a blue bar up at the top here. You wanna make sure that your Ledger has got the most up-to-date firmware on it. And then what we do from there is go to our Manager tab, and we're gonna connect our device. and enter our PIN and we're going to allow the ledger manager on our device. And then from here you're actually going to see this is new, the Binance Smart Chain BNB app. So we want to install this app onto our ledger device so that we can start adding and receiving BNB on our ledger. So we're going to install this. and it's done. Okay, now we can add an account. So it's our first account. I'm gonna hit continue. I'm gonna open the app on our device. All right, here we can actually call it anything that we want. So we're just gonna go with Binance Smart Chain and our account was added successfully. So in order to receive BNB into this, we want to scroll down to our accounts and we're gonna click on the Binance Smart Chain. And it says we currently don't have any crypto assets, but to get our receiving address, we click on receive. And here's just a good warning actually. So it says, please send only BNB or BEP20 tokens to a Binance Smart Chain account any other crypto assets may be lost. So the pitfall here is that Binance has Binance Chain and it has Binance Smart Chain and they are two completely different networks. So the Binance Chain is BEP2. So this is a Binance Smart Chain which is a BEP20. You want to ensure that you only send coins on this network, otherwise you will lose your crypto. So you just want to be mindful of that. So we're going to hit continue. And it's giving us a receiving address here. Now you will notice that it looks very similar to an Ethereum address. It starts with 0x, which is what Ethereum addresses start with. And that's because the Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain apps actually use the same cryptographic techniques um, for their addresses. So, meaning they share a lot of the same, I guess, crypto DNA. So the Binance Smart Chain uses 0x. Now, if you were sending a coin on the Binance Chain, on the BEP2, the address would actually start with BNB. So you just want to be mindful of that. And that's a good way to keep track of what network and you should be sending these on as well. Although a lot of the times the exchanges will automatically detect which is the correct network, as you'll see. So we've got our address here, so we can click copy. And we want to verify this address on our ledger. Now you always, always want to verify your address on your ledger and make sure that it is the exact same address that you see on your screen. So we're going to go through and take a quick peek. So what I like to do is I will normally check the first five letters after the OX, letters or numbers, 
and the last five letters or numbers and make sure that those match up. And if they do, you're in good shape. Okay, so we've approved it on our ledger. And now what we want to do is we want to send some B&B &B to this address. So here we are in the Binance Exchange and I've bought a little bit of B&B &B and we are going to withdraw just a little bit. This is with every time I get a new address or I'm setting up a new account, I will typically not send a large amount of crypto to that address. I will do a test amount first. It's just a precaution to, to make sure that everything's running smoothly. So if I paste that address that I got from my ledger in here, you will see that the network automatically comes up. So it actually knows that it's going to a BEP20 uh, on the Binance Smart Chain. But if I click on here, you will see that it did have the Binance Chain network for me to choose from, but it was smart enough to know that this address would not be transacted on the Binance Chain, but rather the Binance Smart Chain. So what I do know is that because I'm Canadian, I'm on Binance.com. Um, I've heard that Binance.us and Crypto.com are not allowing withdrawals from using the Binance Smart Chain. So they're only allowing withdrawals on the Binance Chain, the, the BEP2, and you do not want to use that chain. So there is a way for US to withdraw, um, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, but first, let's just go through with this. So we are just going to send a small amount of BNB &B and make sure that we're sending it on the right network and that it is received in our ledger. So withdraw. So we're going to get an email verification code. And we're going to get our Google Authenticator code as well. Submit. Okay. Check that the address is correct. And we're just going to wait for that to show up on our ledger. So we'll head back over to ledger and wait for that to show up here. Okay, and you can see that that didn't take very long at all, less than a minute. So here we are, you can see that our BNB has been added to our ledger from the Binance Exchange. Now, let's say you are a US resident and you're not able to withdraw BNB on the Binance Smart Chain Network um, from Binance.us uh, or Crypto.com if you use that one as well. I know you've got two options that I at least know of. Uh, you can use the Binance Smart Chain Wallet extension available on Chrome or Firefox. This is the Binance Smart Chain Wallet extension. So you would either create a wallet on the Binance Smart Wallet extension if you haven't already, and you would send your BNB from Binance Exchange or Crypto.com into this wallet, and then you will be able to send it to your ledger Binance wallet address. The other option is the Trust Wallet. So I'm gonna use Trust Wallet to show you how you can get that BNB into your Ledger Wallet. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our Trust Wallet and get our BNB receiving address so that we can send BNB to our Trust Wallet. Okay, so here we are with our Trust Wallet open and you can see that it, there are actually two coins in here. We've got BNB and we've got Smart Chain BNB. So, the BNB that is in your crypto.com and your binance.us accounts is the BNB because this is the network that goes on the BEP2. So if I were to click on BNB, you will see that if I click on the receive address, it has actually got an address that starts with BNB. So this is the address that you're going to want to copy and you're going to want to send your BNB to this address into Trust Wallet. Now, if I were to show you the smart chain receiving address, you'll see if I click on receive, it's got the Ethereum address. It starts with OX. So that is one of the best ways you can tell the difference between if it's the Binance chain BNB or the Binance smart chain BNB. 
So what you can do once you've sent BNB to your trust wallet, you can click on the more tab and it's got a tab that allows you to swap to smart chain because we want to switch that to Binance smart chain so that we can send it to our ledger. So you would actually click that and you would put in the amount of BNB that you want to switch to Binance Smart Chain, and then you click on swap and you do it like a transaction. Now there is a small transaction fee when you're swapping it from Binance Chain to Binance Smart Chain. So the other alternative, if you want to negate this altogether is to use that Binance Smart Chain wallet because it is a cross chain wallet, which means when you actually send BNB to your Binance Smart Chain wallet, and then you go to withdraw it, you paste in your Binance Smart Chain from address from your Ledger wallet, and it will automatically know that it's being going to be sent on the BEP20 network and will automatically send it on that network for you. And then you will be able to avoid this fee altogether. So we're going to swap that, and then you will have your BNB in the Smart Chain so then what you want to do is you want to open that up and you want to click on send and you're going to paste in your ledger BSC address. So you can see that it's the same address that we had before, which it ends in AB989. So we're again, we're just going to do a small test amount and make sure that everything is working fine. So I'm going to do 0 0.08, which is the same amount that I used in Binance Exchange. And we can review the transaction and confirm. And then we can go back to our Ledger Live and we can just wait for that BNB to hopefully show up. And there it is, it just showed up. So you can see that our balance went up and BNB was added to this account. So we were able to send it from our Binance exchange account. And for US residents, we were able to swap our BNB from the Binance chain to the Binance smart chain and send it into our ledger. So that's as simple and as easy as it is with uh, BNB, but now we can safely and securely store our BNB on our Ledger device and be able to see it on Ledger Live. So that is how easy it is with the BNB. Now Ledger Live is also supporting some of the BEP20 tokens on the Ledger Live as well. Not all of them are supported and for some reason, I'm sure this list is to come, but Ledger has not provided a list of um, the tokens that are supported. Some are only partially supported and then some will not show up on your Ledger Live account at all. Now they are still safe and you will be able to see them on the bscscan.com website. If you put in your Ledger receiving address, you will see your tokens. So they are within your Ledger and they are safe. You would just have to interact with them with a third party wallet such as MetaMask. And then the partially supported uh, tokens, I know, for example, one of them is cake. So if you were to send your cake to the, this Ledger Live, it will actually show up here and it will show the amount of cake you have, but it will not show the value. And that's what they mean by partially supported. So they're still safe and secure on your Ledger, but you're just not gonna see the total value of when that coin goes up and down, what is it worth? Uh, but you still will be able to send and receive your tokens. And then Ledger has said that some of the tokens are fully supported where you will be able to see the amount of tokens that you have as well as the value of those tokens. Uh, but we just don't know which tokens those are. So uh, just know that when you send your tokens to your Ledger um, and get them off of the exchanges, that it is safe to do so and you haven't lost any of your crypto if you don't see it in Ledger Live. It's still on this little device. So in our next video, we're going to send some cake tokens to our Binance Smart Chain Ledger wallet, and we are going to interact with the Pancake Exchange. So stay tuned for that and subscribe. It will probably be out tomorrow, and we'll see you very soon. Hope you're having a great day, and we're loving the crypto life.